Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily add depth and interest to your designs using these soft edges on any shapes. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll start with a blank presentation. So we'll go File, New, Blank Presentation, right click anywhere on the slide and choose Layout Blank. We'll now set up a black background. So we'll right click, Format Background, Solid Fill and Black. I'll quickly paste in my text to save time. And for this, I used Fig Tree Black at a size of 120 point for the first text and 71 for the second. But for the first bit of text, I actually used an outline. And to do that, we can go to Format Shape, choose Text Options, go to Text Outline, set a two point white line and make sure it's got no fill. Now let's add our circle graphics. And for those, we can go up to the drawing section, click on Oval and click anywhere on the page. I want this to have no outline and a gradient fill. You can select any gradient, but I chose a linear gradient with three stops of color at a 45 degree angle. We can move our shape to wherever we want it. And for this one, I wanted it to be at the back, so I can right click and choose center back. And if I want to size it up from the middle, I simply hold control and shift while dragging from the corner. And to make this look like it's out of focus and at the back, I'm going to use this soft edges effect. So we'll go to format shape, choose the effects option and then go to soft edges. And for this one, I'm going to enter 22. That makes it look like it's out of focus and therefore adds this nice depth. And this one will be quite out of focus. So it'll look like it's nearer the back. Once I have this one, I can easily duplicate it to make the others. So control D will duplicate. We'll move it over here and size it down a bit. Again, holding control shift. I'm going to give this one less soft edges. So I'm going to select 10 for this one. And again, right click and send it to the back. Duplicate again. This one's going to be nearer the front. So I'll just give it something like five. I can also make this a different size if I want to. Control D again. This one I'm going to set to behind the white filled in text but above the outline text. And to do that, I can put it where I want to and then bring this one to the front. And then remembering to also bring anything else I want to have above it to the front. It's looking good. I'm now going to make this a bit bigger and a bit softer. You can enter anything for this, whatever you think looks good. And then control D again to duplicate and make the final one. And for this, I'm going to set it down to something low, like six, because it's at the front and it doesn't have to be exact. But in this case, everything that's further to the back is more blurred and everything that's closer to the front is sharper. That looks pretty good. Now let's add the animation. And there are a number of ways you can add the animation. Again, whatever you think looks good, but one of the easiest ways is to use morph. So to do that, we can press Control D on the slide here. Make sure we're on the second one and choose Transitions Morph. And now whatever changes we make to the first one will automatically morph into the second one really smoothly. So for example, we could click on this circle and size it down. Then when I play, you can see it smoothly reveals. I can now size down the others, again holding Control Shift on the corner. We can actually size them down so small that they disappear because of the soft edges. Now when we play from slide one, these will all animate in nicely for slide two. That's looking really good. Remember, you can easily change any of the colors in here to make variations as you wish. And because the morph transition is set, PowerPoint will automatically smoothly morph between the colors. So for example, if I wanted to quickly make a variation of this, I could control D on those two slides, set up a new background. Then adjust the gradient colors to whatever I want.
to an easy way of making some interesting, bespoke and unique designs that will add interest and depth to your slides. If you'd like to download any of these source files for the tutorials, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.